Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next uh, kind of miscellaneous defensive video, but this is definitely an important one. A lot of you guys are still struggling at Town Hall 9 to defend against, especially the first attack, which is understandable because Town Hall 9 uh, is really favored towards the attacker right now in terms of at least the top war clans. Um, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to defend against HGHB, and that's a very dominant strategy at Town Hall 9. Now I know I talked about P.E.K.K.A.s replacing Giants in this strategy and we see that to an extent but mainly we still see quite a bit more HGHB attacks than the HGHP uh, which are the one or the HBHP or whatever. The ones that use P.E.K.K.A.s aren't as common as the ones that use Giants and because people still use Giants a lot in this video I'm going to teach you guys the best way to defend against that attack strategy and it's centered around taking out the Giants because they're the tanking, uh, they do damage to your defenses, and that's one thing that's overlooked. They don't just do di they don't just tank, they also do quite a bit of damage to defenses, especially under Rage. They can get through walls pretty quickly and they'll take out defenses. They're tanky, they're hard to get rid of. Um, so let's talk a little bit about kind of what the Giants' weakness is, which is Spring Traps. That's kind of the basis of this uh, little... Uh, part of a base which I created it's just the, what would be the bottom corner I guess of your base but we'll talk a lot about kind of how it's set up and uh, there's a few different things uh, not just kind of the spring traps but there's a few different things uh, that's set up in this base uh, just in this part of the base to take out uh, an HGHB attack and first things first I put the sweeper in the wrong spot so just give me a moment as I fix this um, the sweeper should be like that let's talk a little bit about kind of why this base is set up this way the first thing that you might notice um is that the attacker almost always in an hghb attack this wall is bothering me uh come on move over what now now my screen's freezing up um there we go the first thing that you might notice in an hg uh, hb attack is that the attacker almost always comes at the bottom uh, by these heroes and when that happens that's basically how they're going to take out your heroes first when they still have the power of their attack. So by setting your base up this way with both heroes, it's no matter what the rest of your base looks like, they'll almost always start at the bottom here to take out your heroes. And look how we have this mortar right here. That'll become important later. But the point is, they'll most likely come in for this mortar. It can be moved over a little bit too just to ensure they go for it. Uh, but because the giants are going to be attracted to that, they'll probably come in from that side of the base on the mortar and that's going to be pretty important. But look at how the giant pathing works. They're most likely not going to use a jump because you typically don't use jumps, and this base isn't too tricky on the pathing, so they shouldn't use a jump. They'll let their giants enter the base, take out these two defenses, then they're going to go for this archer tower because you have this little gap in here, this little dead space, which is a buffer so that the giants don't go over to that side of the base, and also we have this uh, storage here, so these two defenses are farther back and away from the wall, so it's going to be pretty much certain that if they do enter the base from this side, which they most likely will, the giants are going to go for this archer tower. And look at these spring traps we have set up by the Teslas. The Teslas kind of add another level of uncertainty. They don't know there's going to be Teslas there, so they don't know there's going to be spring traps there or anything. So it just makes it a little bit harder for them to identify what exactly the base is trying to do. So these four uh, spring traps, and you can add even more layers of this if you just want to completely commit to taking out giants, uh, but they can each spring trap can take out potentially three giants. So that's a total of twelve spring was twelve giants, which is typically the number of giants people bring. So theoretically, all twelve giants could go flying. They probably all won't, but uh, a good good portion of their giants will go down in this uh, scenario. So if they come at the base from the bottom, unless they bring a jump to like direct the troops off to this side, which would be kind of awkward. Um, that's the direction the troops are going, and they're going to be losing quite a few giants. Uh, mo might not, you know, definitely break the attack, but it will hurt it enough to give you a good chance of defending. Um, so anyway, another thing this base does, besides the small bombs here to kill wall breakers, but that's, you know, that's nothing new. Um, take a look at the air defense placement. It's, and this is also why the mortar's here. You want them coming at this part of the base down here, at these walls. You want them entering there. Because this air defense can't be sniped by the queen, uh, won't be hit by bowlers obviously because there's nothing for the, for the first bounce to hit in this compartment. 
so that air defense won't go down, but it's just going to be sitting there and hopefully it'll reach the healers. And uh, if you can get the healers down, that's another important part of the HGHB attack to disarm. Uh, it'll really hurt the attack. So the healers will most likely be trailing the giants, and uh, this air sweeper also is going to push them over towards the air, air defense. That's an important part of this also. Not only is the angle set up so that the healers will most likely cross the path of this air defense, but just to ensure that will happen, the air sweeper pushes them over towards the uh, air defense to make sure they get taken out. Now, a good attacker might try to come in from this part of the base here. They still have this problem that doesn't solve that problem with the spring traps, but to avoid the air defense, they might try to do that. So, I mean, you can move this, you know, towards this angle to try to push them a little farther, but include this part of the base. And also you can move the mortar to a little more of a central location just to make it harder for them to drop stuff all the way over here. Um, that might be a good way to do it. It's up to you guys, however you think you can get it done. But the point is you want them to enter the base from a certain side of your hero compartment so that the air defense uh, can't be or can't be taken out, but it can reach the healers. And it's kind of important to have the dead space because if you do have a building here or something, uh, bowlers could get it and on the second bounce it might take out the air defense. That's a choice you have to make. It is kind of unlikely. It could happen. So uh, that's up to you guys how you want to do it. But um, anyway, this space could work very well, at least this kind of setup of the bottom here. I encourage you guys to come up with a design similar. I wouldn't copy it because whenever something's out on YouTube, uh, there's typically going to be people who are going to be figuring out ways to beat it. So it's up to you guys how you want to uh, deal with what I just created. But uh, once again, just to summarize, the important things to have here is the hero chamber that has these two, the mortar or whatever defense, I guess. You could do another defense, but typically the mortar on one side. Have the dead space and the air defense on that same side. And uh, I'll go into photo mode real quick uh, just for the sake of this to give a better view. And uh, the air sweeper pushing the healers towards that air defense. You can move it one more over too. Uh, and finally having the, probably most importantly, this little strip that most likely the giants will path into and uh, the Teslas, the spring traps, uh, you can use, you know, three to six spring traps really to take out those giants. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you're enjoying your weekend. This will probably be uploaded sometime on the weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and say that now. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching and good luck with your base at Town Hall 9 and defending against HGHB. I sect the trunk out.